New tonight, 11 Alive investigates needed federal funds for foster kids going unclaimed. So every single year in Georgia, more than 600 kids, 18 to 21 years old, they age out of the foster care system, left to fend for themselves, but millions of dollars available to help them out are not being used. 11 Alive investigative reporter Savannah Levins reveals why Georgia has hardly claimed any of it. I'm sorry about so, it being hot in here. Don't mistake what you're about to hear. They never came to fix our air conditioner. For complaining. This is the kitchen. Because after 21 years. This is just the bathroom. Kajay Pennington finally gets to say. And then this is my room. Mine. My Xbox. I love playing the game. Not much, but more than she's ever had. Where does your roommate sleep? Uh, right there on that mattress. Better than the circumstances that landed her in Georgia's foster care system at 15. It wasn't a home. It was more so of a prison, like. She used to put a bar on my door and I, I wasn't able to come out. Like I used to be in my room for months at a time. The police used to come and stuff. They used to tell me that they would get me out the situation that I was in and they would never come back to help me. And I remember, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's been five months since Tajay aged out of foster care and had to make it on her own. Turn 21 got the apartment and that's it. They helped me drop my stuff off and then they left. Five days a week at her $12 an hour job wasn't enough to keep the bills paid or the recent eviction notice from her door. I'm really scared, but there's a lot of homeless people out there, so at least I won't be the only one. That's why the federal government introduced the Foster Youth to Independence or FYI voucher program in 2019, providing up to 36 months of rental assistance for young people like Tajay. This year, Georgia's eligible to receive 769 FYI vouchers, but we've only received three obtained by Brunswick and Albany. That's 0.005% of the nearly $12.8 million available this year. Did anyone with defects actually like, set a meeting with you? No. Never? Never. On a state level, defects admits they don't track these young people after they age out, telling 11 Alive investigates they're, quote, working to establish a centralized process. We reached out to all 13 Georgia housing authorities that are currently eligible for FYI vouchers. Only two, Atlanta and DeKalb, said they plan to apply for the vouchers soon. Others, like Fulton and Decatur, said they're focusing their resources on other programs. Nearly all said they hadn't heard from DFACs about the FYI program at all until August 1st of this year. The exact same day we first reached out to DFACs about this story. It would have helped me be in the space where I don't have to worry about where my next meal or where my next where I'm gonna lay my head. Whew. If Atlanta Housing does obtain vouchers, Tajay could qualify if they find her. Until then, she's holding on as long as she can to hope and what's hers. It's just material things, you know what I mean? At least they didn't take my soul. <laughs> That was Savannah Levins for us tonight. By the way, DFAC says that it relies on local caseworkers to identify eligible youth they are already in touch with or youth they know are about to age out. So even if local housing authorities, they get those vouchers, they still have to go over that hurdle, that hurdle they'll have to face. To read a lot more about this issue, look for Savannah's story on 11alive.com slash investigates. And if you have a tip for Savannah or the 11 Alive Investigates team, just call us right now at 404 873-9111 or email investigates at 11alive.com. All these calls, folks, are, and the correspondence will be kept confidential.